signs. Let's get it. Oh, I think, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. Fire signs are like, I feel good. Na, 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 na. Interesting energy fire signs. Calcite, abundance. Have no idea why I shared that with you. Let's get to your reading. I'm Zoe Flowers. I am a tarot reader. I also hear voices. <laughs> Fire signs. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So we start with the focal point. What is the focal point for you for April? What is it to be focusing on? No more seeking. No more seeking. I feel like this is also the card that talks about casting your wisdom, casting your pearls before swine. These are teeth. I still have, and this was in reverse. So this is why I'm saying no more seeking. This is also about being balanced in who you are and what you bring. And I do believe, I do believe, I wanna read this. So for those of you all that are familiar with the traditional tarot suits, this card is part of the, what's the major arcana of this particular deck. The Seeker. The Seeker indicates a need for energy, movement, vitality, and excitement. And it's interesting because I was getting that before we started. The Seeker is childlike at heart, has faith that at its core, the world is a beautiful place. Remember, this was in, in reverse. So maybe you're not feeling that way. Maybe you're not feeling the faith. As we grow older, it's easy to lose touch with our innocence and our sense of wonder. Wonder. We have responsibilities, a stressful home, work environments, external pleasures, physical sensitivities, and dis-ease. In the end, we get locked into a survival mentality and we don't know how to break free. The Seeker's message is one of reclamation. It's not so much about ridding yourself of stress, but remembering your essence. Slowly nurture your sense of wonder. Feeling very little Red Riding Hood, feeling very lost in the woods, far from grandmother's house, far from our mission. And so we're seeking, feeling a little frustrated with the journey for my fire signs. Perhaps you've been getting the message of patience. And that's just like, oh my God, if I have to be patient one more time. So let's see what needs to be embraced. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm hearing embrace first. Fire signs, what do you need to embrace in April? Look at Leo showing up in its own reading this is a brand new deck i just got this deck yesterday day before yesterday so I, I find i'm finding new things as i see it in the camera like i never noticed this infinity symbol right there in her hand because it's in all different places in different decks look at the sun the sun is shining on you you literally have everything you need I love that we have this pyramid here whenever i see pyramids in the reading obviously that makes me think old magic You have magic that comes from beyond the cosmos. Your magical abilities run very deep. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. And maybe, and it's so interesting that I said Red Riding Hood, isn't it? And to grandmother's house we go. It's like fairy tales. Perhaps things haven't shown up quite the way you expected them to, perhaps you've given up on fairy tales, but you have the strength, you have the strength of the lion here. And infinity, your time is not running out. 
your legacy building if nobody told you that your legacy building the sun is shining on you perhaps the sun is so bright we talk about this in my astrology class the sun being so bright that it burns everything I have the sun conjunct mercury so what that means is my perception of things is off because it's so close to the sun. Well, luckily mine is at like the 26th degree, so it's not so close to the sun where it's like outrageous. So I have some perspective, but when the sun is so close to you, I mean, and this is you, Leo, you're the sun, that you, sometimes you lose sight of your own strength. What I'm hearing though is where your strength lies. You've lost, you've lost sight of where, and look at the sun even coming in and like blighting out this card even. The sun's doing it already. Like, I can't even see the card fully. Look at that. Look. You see? This is the sun. Look at that. That's you. That's you. Not only blurring out yourself, but maybe blurring out people who want to help you. Blurring out people who have sacred messages for you. This is for all air signs. Sun, moon, rising. Right? What role is the sun playing in your life? Are you able to see what you're seeking Clearly, look, sun's doing it again. Amazing. What needs to be released? What needs to be released? I'm sorry, what needs to be, yeah, what needs to be released? So it's interesting. We have the Ten of Cups here. The Ten of Cups can be a sign of gluttony in some decks. You know, it really can. And also here, we have some sort of horned animal, right? Is it a cow? Is it a bull? I'm not sure. But it's like doing too much. Like, damn, she got, a, she got all these cups she got to carry. She going up this steep hill. There's all these you know, animals in her way. And it's like, fam, you've got it. You've got it. We have the page of cups here, a message. And maybe this is your message of a new way to look at your emotions, right? Oh, my bad, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry. But this is not cups. This is, that's right, in this deck, this is um, pentacles. This is the pentacles. This is the pentacles. That's right. Emotions is the cups. Okay. So, yeah. So, the message is still the same. The striving. So, what needs to be released is the striving. You've got it. Right? It's like you're carrying the cup. And look at the cup has the magic in it. You are the magic. You take the magic with you. Right? So, it's like how much do you really need? That's what April is asking you. And... We have a message of a new way to express yourself, right? There's a better way to express yourself. There's a better way to let people in, right? How about we open up that heart, right? How about we listen to our gut and let that lead the way? Let that lead what it is we're working towards, right? I love it. Spirit is saying that's all they have for you. They only want me to mention this compassion card. So not allowing yourself to lose compassion for yourself or others. That is what April is all about for you. Air signs, please drop down in the comments. Let me know if it resonates. This was really, really interesting. I love this. I love the sun. I love this imagery. I love these new decks. I love you, fire signs. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time. <laughs>